Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Neha Dubey. Today, I am going to discuss the topic of uh, research methodology, introduction and objective of research methodology. So let's begin our lecture. First, what is research? Research is an activity that leads to finding a new facts, information and assisting us in a verifying the available knowledge and in making us questions things that are difficult to understand. So this is research. To be successful manager, it is important for you to know how to go about making the right decisions by being knowledgeable about the various steps involved in finding solutions to the problematic issues. So in summarized way, or in we can say in a simple language, we can say that what is research? It is a step-by-step -step process or an activity where with the current knowledge available, we are finding out certain problem or identify certain problem. And for giving the solutions, we work for step-by-step -step manner, collecting the data, the other information available and do the certain analysis so that we can achieve certain interpretations and we can give or we are able to give a solutions to that identified problem. So this is what research, right? Now, in other words, it is a systematic observation of our processes to find better ways to do things and to reduce the efforts being put into achieving objectives and identifying the validity of targets. In fact, research is a subconscious activity that we are involved in at all the times, whether it is purchase of a daily use articles, a car, an electronic good, or planning a holiday. For example, you all are students. If you are um, wanted to buy certain even pen, okay, so you have to write an assignment. So someone uh, like to write beautifully. So smooth writing pen can be available in the market. So what what you are doing? You are doing certain kind of a label of a result so that you can opt particular good quality of a pen and that will give you a best results. So in a small to big manner, we all are doing uh, research in our daily life as well. So what is meaning of research? Research refers to a search for knowledge. Research is an art of scientific investigations. The advanced learner's dictionary of a current English lays down the meaning of research as a careful investigation or inquiry, especially through search for a new facts in any branch of knowledge. Redman and Moore defines research as a systematized efforts to gain new knowledge. Some people consider research as a movement and a movement from known to the unknown. Now, uh, in definition, the cook or the book outlines research as an honest, exhaustive, intelligent searching for facts and their meanings or implications with reference to a problem. So he sees the word research as an acronym. Each letter of a word standing for a particular aspect is given below. R for rational way of thinking, E for expert and exhaustive treatment, S for search and solution, E for exactness, A for analysis, R for relationship of facts, C for critical observation, careful planning or constructive attitude and condensed generalization, and H for honesty and hard working. Now, what is the purpose of research? Why we need to do research? Why we are studying research? The purpose of research can vary depending on the field of study. For medicine, uh, for medic, uh, medicine field, it is different. We have to means the scientists have to proven certain thing or experiment on a different uh, animals and all so that they can give a result or the best result for the human. In uh, satellites and all, the kind of research is different for the engineering or the machinery side. The research is different, and for management, the research is different. So, in general, research can be used generate new knowledge and theories. It is a generalization, generalized purpose of research. Text existing theories or hypothesis, identify the trends or the patterns. It will be used for, a, uh, like for example, stock markets or uh, the, the people or the company wanted to invest in a stock market. So what they are doing actually, or the agents are doing actually, they are identifying the trends or patterns. So basically they are analyzing the thing. They are doing the research for investment so that they can gain maximum benefits. 
gather information for the decision making, uh, evaluate the effectiveness of program policies or interventions and develop new technologies or products identify new opportunities or areas for the further study for example in an automobile industry you are finding it out that the in a india uh, we are uh, we are uh, now decreasing or diminishing at the level of uh, uh, the natural resources the, the petrol and diesel is one of them so basically uh, the population is increasing the luxurious life is increasing so the automobile consumption is also increasing the petrol and the diesel is also increasing so what's the natural resources are limited so what are the new opportunities for fulfill the demand of the customer so the ev comes into the picture so this is what the, it is a result of the uh, research right or the objective of research to explore and describe a phenomenon research can be conducted to describe and understand a phenomenon or a situation in a greater detail to test a hypothesis or a theory research can be used to test a specific hypothesis or theory by collecting and analyzing the data means you have identified a problem you have decided this kind of a hypothesis so for testing hypothesis you are collecting the data and all and then you are proving and not proving so this is the part of the hypothesis testing so one of the objective of research is that to identify the patterns or trends research can be conducted to identify patterns or trends in data which can provide insight into the behavior of a system or population to evaluate a program or interventions research can be used to evaluate the effectiveness of a program or intervention such as a new drug or a educational interventions to develop a new knowledge or technology research can be conducted to develop a new knowledge or technologies that can be applied to solve practical problems so there are multiple examples of uh, this are available and we are using it for example we are uh, switch to the manual working to the digital working now we are switching to the cash uh, to the digital payments and all what is that it is the new technologies or new knowledge so we are uh, develop it and used it so that the practical problems can be sorted out to inform the policy decisions research can provide evidence to inform policy decisions and improve the public policies and to improve existing knowledge research can be conducted to improve existing knowledge and fill gaps in the current understanding of a topic means already research has been done decades ago and decades ago uh, someone has already has been done but at that time the data is available so for considering that data they have find it out the problem use that data do the analysis and give the certain results but nowadays if i am doing that uh, on that topic of a research so what we have to do i'm collecting that data but the research gap what they have not covered in their studies so i just want it out the that gap and try to cover it up in our research contributions so this is what uh, objectives of research hopefully um, i'm able to make you understand this particular topic uh, so thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day we will meet you in our next uh, uh, lecture so thank you very much